Okay, we can start with that. Let's record the input right here with that chord progression. So you can automate the pattern, right? So we can keep this pattern 2 and copy it to pattern 3. Let's say we're going to keep the chord progression as is, but we're going to change the notes of the bass. Increase the length of the note. Make it a bit longer, but simplify it. Maybe we can increase that up. I think this is good. Automate this. This is the chorus where we can do the pattern 3. This would be pattern 2. We can print the MIDI notes. So I think we can leave it at that today.